What did the weird kid do to earn that reputation? Do a countdown to his farts like they were a ref king moon launch. He was very into the fantasy of war games. He would get super excited when anyone would play along with him. We had over 5. 000 students in the school and many people knew about him and would pretend to shoot at him for a laugh due to his antics. It all had to stop when someone pretended to shoot him with a bazooka and he jumped backwards down a flight of stairs from the explosion. Someone who is still unknown ran through the school with nothing on but a Spider-Man mask. He ran down the longest hallway we had, a quarter mile long, willy flopping in the wind and no teacher or monitor could stop his majestic run. Collected earthworms when it rained, in the pouch of his hoodie. Comma and then laid them out in the schoolyard. Spelling his own name. He cried when he saw that it had been scraped from the pavement the next day. By that time he was around 13. Predictably. People, we, started calling him Worm Kid. He got expelled around a year later. For throwing a fistful of earth at a teacher. Edit. To elaborate on him having to leave the school. This act of dirt tossing happened inside of a classroom. At close proximity. When he'd been called to the blackboard during a Latin lesson, I'm from Europe. The teacher completely lost her shit. The moist soil was all in her hair. And she later said a couple of live beetles and little pebbles or bone splinters were also found in that mix. Though I can't say whether that's true. He brought a live lobster to a middle school dance and let it go on the dance floor during the dance. Wasn't even a question of who would have done this. It was Nate. Nate did it. I was the president of an improv club at my high school. The weird kid was a member. Now. Remember that episode of The Office when Michael would interrupt every improv scene as a cop? It was like that. Except this kid always had an evil dark magic theme. Characters in the scenes turned out to be his evil brother from the Dark Outlands. Imaginary props would turn into mythic swords formed from shadows. But this kid was so desperately unpopular. No one had the heart to kick him out of the club. When we were about 15. Harrison, we were all addressed by our surnames, decided one day to wrap his penis in adhesive tape during a biology lesson. I can't remember why. Nor how he managed to remove it. But I was impressed. He also held the record for stabbing into the desk between each finger of his outstretched hand with a compass, a very sharp point, as fast as possible. Despite hitting a finger at least once. He later became a distinguished surgeon. He would bark like a dog when talked to. He probably had some mental problems but most people just avoided him. He would go around asking people if you knew an alien that looked like X. Y. Z. And you really. Really love them. Would you have SX with the alien? Double quote. Alien description change a lot from question to question. And if you answered him he would keep asking the questions with different types of aliens. Key point being that you always shared an emotional connection with the alien. Poor kid was just trying to sort out his own alien fetish. I think. Edit. No kink shaming. A girl in my year at school told us that she has a ghost in her bedroom and it told her that if she didn't brush her teeth it would burn her house down. Another girl said she wanted to have sx with our headmaster but she was like 7 at the time. And she used to scratch people in the face like a cat. I held the door open for her once and she flipped me off and called me a fking bitch. The weird kid in my ear. Started out as basically a meme. He was odd. Socially isolated. Talked to himself a little. Nerdy. Terrible at sports. Cannon fodder for the popular crowd. We were, and still are, friends though. Freshman year a joke starts going around that he should be prom king. Nobody takes it too seriously but it's considered funny. French teacher picks it up and supports it. Four years later he's been so heavily memed everyone loves him and he gets elected homecoming king. Cut himself in class. Waited for the blood to congeal a bit then ate it. Just writing that made me gag. Years later he got arrested for stabbing someone. There is this kid who only listens to Megalovania. Worst part is that he blasts it full volume and doesn't bother wearing headphones. So imagine you're in my shoes. 
taking a piss in the bathroom and 50% of the time you slowly hear megalovania getting louder and louder until it echoes into the room and there is that kid just standing there with his phone out staring at everyone while you fear for your safety. He thought he was a robot. Often you'd find him in the halls alone talking to electronics about destroying the human race or having a conversation with a locker. In kindergarten we had this girl who used to show us that she could put sticks inside her peeing place. As kids. We were fascinated. Grossed out and amazed at the same time. Yet. We never really thought more of it. It was her thing. She liked to show us that she could put objects inside that spot. Only years on years later. In context. We were around 4 when this happened. I'm 36 today and I think I only realized 1-2 years ago that this girl was most likely subject to sexual abusive. I knew she came from a somewhat troubled home. But as a 4 year old and the years after. I didn't possess the skill set or know how to identify this. As a teenager and the years onwards. I forgot about her. Only to think of her a few years back as someone said something which triggered the scenario. Wherever you are. Girl. Now woman. I hope you're good and living your best life. Set his arm on fire on a school trip to France. Sprayed his arm with deodorant for about a whole minute before getting someone to light it. It wouldn't go out until he used the tap in the bathroom to douse it with water. He ended up with blisters and permanent scarring. So the school trip ends and we go back to school the week after. All of a sudden me and four other kids get pulled into a classroom. To be questioned by police and the head teacher. He basically told his mum that we did it to him. Obviously this did not stick. As we all had the same story. If I had Facebook I would look him up. See how life is for him nowadays. Edit. Forgot to say deodorant is what he used. He was known for doing a ton of odd tea but the only one I personally saw was when he ate a piece of gum that was stuck to the bottom of a kid's shoe. This was in high school. We were freshmen in an urban high school. He made increasingly wild claims like he had a bunch of illegal automatic weapons. He made poison darts and blow guns. His sensei could outrun an arrow fired from a bow and he was learning how to do it. He had a nitro kit in his trans and that he used to outrun police. He transferred to another school. The next I heard of him two years later he had crashed into a brick wall and died while fleeing the police. The report said he lost control when he engaged his nitro kit. He had a notoriety for shitting his pants at least once a day and was super casual about it. I remember I was behind him in the hall one day when I saw massive turd plop out of his short legs. He looked back at it and just kept on strutting. Raped two separate dogs. We thought it was just one but when confronted he admitted to doing it a second time. Wearing the same suit to class every day was a bit smelly but he was polite so it was whatever. I don't know if you are in my class. But well yes. I did have the same look the whole year. In grade 6 but they wear different clothes that simply wear exactly the same. 2. I was and still am smelly because I get hot really quickly and you know what happens. Well yeah. If you live in Romania. And are in grade 8 now. And you are talking about something that has happened 2 years ago. Then yes it's me. There was this girl at my school who in 3rd grade had a daily ritual. We had lunch then recess back to back. Every day she would take all the food on her plate completely mash it up then mix it all together. Chocolate milk included. So it was a brown pile of mushy bread. Mashed vegetables. And whatever else was for lunch that day. Then she'd eat it with a spoon. Then at recess she would aimlessly run around for 30 seconds as fast as she could then puke everywhere and it came up looking just how it went down. Finally. After puking. She'd find a spot to sit down and read a Stephen King book. Every day. Edit. It'd be really cool if all you armchair child psychologists would stop blowing up my replies telling me it's not funny because she had an eating disorder. Kids are weird as fck and do stupid shit. She was weird as fck and did tons of stupid shit. She was obsessed with gross shit and gore. Third grade in 2000. Kid puts ranch on his pizza at lunch. Everyone is shocked. 2020 and I do that shit all the time. Sorry we didn't appreciate you weird kid. Open bracket. 
dude would wear a stormtrooper costume and taped an old flip up phone to his arm and pretend to talk through it. This was an HS. He was particularly odd because he was like a born genius so head off and get bored in class and get up to some weird shit. Ate a battery in class. Pissed in a bottle on a bus full of 60 kids. Chipped his tooth sucking on a tagin packet. All his siblings are named the same name. Martin. Got caught whacking it in the school bathroom. Then later got his DCK stuck in a shampoo bottle. Guys. If you get your DCK stuck in a shampoo bottle. And your mom has to take you to the hospital to remedy the situation. You need to keep that to yourselves. There is no teenager in the world who's going to keep that knowledge to themselves. Well. I'd say it was me at first. Basically I just suck at social interaction and. Looking back. Would let pretty much anything happen to me if it meant at least not being 100% isolated from everyone else. Maybe that's why I'm so goddamned submissive now. Anyway later we got another kid who got expelled from his former school for trying to change his grades within the school system. Apparently security wasn't that great there, that guy was a total nut job who constantly ranted about how much he hated foreigners and muslims. Was a total creep on the girls. Bragging about driving a girl he knew into a suicide attempt and repeatedly threatened to shoot up the school. I was no longer the weird kid. In 4th grade this kid brought metal Chinese throwing stars to school and started throwing them around the classroom. He was gone for about a week then a few weeks after that he pulled out some nunchucks and hit a girl in the face. We didn't see him the rest of the year. 5th grade starts and there he is. It was show and tell and he brought in a small pet turtle. He was in front of class and he took the turtle out and said my turtle does tricks. Look he can break dance. He then put it on its back and spun it like a top. It went flying off the stool onto the hard ground and landed on its shell. He was called turtle or turtle boy the rest of school until he disappeared in junior high. This was in the 80s. Wonder how he turned out. Weird fucker. I went to Parkland a few years back. In my first period we had Nicholas Cruz in our science class. Whenever he was called on. No matter what question. He'd always yell out B as in that's the answer. He sat in the middle of class. One girl kept flirting with him by stabbing him in the back of the head with a pencil while her friend laughs along. We graduated before he committed mass murder. Dyed her hair jet black. Used a nearly white foundation. Black eyeliner. Hissed at everyone. Little did she know. She wasn't the only one forced into that prep school in hopes that the strict catholic teachings and a near century of academic excellence turn her into a functional member of society. She may have been the weird kid for all of us prep schoolers. But um once you got past that icy facade and eccentric fashion. She was a blast. A little dark and made no secret about being a Wiccan. But she was fun. Dark gothy girl apparently dug up a really old family grave, understood to be an old slave burial, and took a finger bone. Which was observed on her necklace. The grave site was located on a hill in the back of a place everyone drove their four wheelers and trucks. Practically in the middle of the woods. She was already seen leaving the graveyard at like 2am by a lot of us when we had bonfires going. Then someone found a plot damaged a few weeks later. The graves were super old and apparently caskets were made cheaply or with bare minimum material. The weird kid at my school always claimed she was a wizard and when someone spoke to her when she was casting a spell, screaming at the ground, she would turn around and either scream in fire face or btch slap them. I was new to the school at the time and I got screamed at cause I was legitimately worried that she might be hurt or something. My ex-girlfriend knew a guy who masturbated during a civil war movie in class. And he got called some kind of cum pun. But I don't remember it. A guy at my school jacked off under his desk all the time. And had sx in the school a lot. But he wasn't very attractive by any means. His girlfriend for the entire time was a girl who was somehow connected to the sonic drive in a few blocks down. Who used to be a wonderful girl scout. She also wasn't very pretty. And both of them were the weird kid. But the guy was worse. His name was weird and he asked people to marry him as a joke for maybe 2 years. He asked me multiple times. 
Had a few in my high school. One kid would make pterodactyl noises throughout the school. And he was a little. Excited. About the number 3 specifically. Another was just a little eclectic. But the way he interacted with other kids was a little awkward. He broke his foot one year and had one of those leg scooter things for it. He would race through the halls like an F1 racer. Another kid got expelled for trying to steal a classroom computer. Like the whole thing. Monitor. Tower. Everything. Claimed to be an actual vampire claimed he had a black belt after kicking or hitting you from behind. Would try to cast curses on people, like in the middle of class and shti loudly. I always told people to leave him alone because he was definitely a school shooter suspect. But one day in the cafeteria his gf, don't even ask about her, and him was sitting there and for whatever reason he decided to take her used fresh tampon and wring it out on top of a cookie. He then proceeded to eat the cookie. We all saw and the shti was crazy. Ever since then he was known as the cookie monster. He was quiet at first so me and my friends became friends with him. Months later he confesses his love to one of them and gets rejected. And starts stalking us by finding out where we live and more to the point where we had to get restraining orders on him that he kept breaking. He would jerk off everywhere and be caught. Like all the time. In class. On the football field. In the tuba room. You name it. He also claimed with all seriousness to everybody that he was dating the most popular girl at our school. She was in a long term relationship with another one of the popular kids so everyone knew he was full of shti but he stuck to his guns. It all started in 6th grade. A new kid came to our school and you could tell he was a little off. My friend group. We were being nice and had been nice to him the whole year. Then next year in 7th grade. He tore one of my sweatshirts. My most expensive one, and of course I told one of the lunch aides. They said just stay away from him and I did. So on my way out to recess. He was hiding in the corner and mouthed fku at me. He was crying cuz he thought that he would get in trouble. So the nice girls include him then they try to go make me say sorry. I was on the swings being all gangster then I had to try and say sorry. I just said screw that. So later this kid started threatening me that he would bring a knife to school and stab me. Then at the end of recess. He decided to throw a punch. He wasn't the strongest so it didn't hurt. Now. I was more strong than this kid so it would be an easy fight. However a good friend stopped me doing anything. Which was probably for the best. The school did nothing about this. Despite my various reports. So after tensions rise. The kid decides to stab me with a fork at lunch. He got no suspension or none of that and I have no idea why. But yeah that was the weird kid. TLDR weird kid stabbed me at lunch.